Welcome back to part two of Spinal Staircase Creation and uh, we are picking from where we left. If I come to navigate here and I want to rotate this, you'll be able to see we need now to close this gap. The purpose of offsetting it is because you wanted to use this part to create this part. So we could not create it when, when this one was in the same, same place. So once we, we had created this, we are going to take it back to that position once again. Uh, taking back me means that uh, it, ha it has to attach itself to this. And when we do the bolting, the bolting just uh, will be very easy to, to place. So once I've done so, uh, I'm going to select everything here. Let me just select everything right there. And I'm going to right click. So once I've right clicked, I'm going to click move. So remember, we did an of a, a, a copy this way by 40 millimeter. So we are going to do the same thing by using a move tool. So we are, uh, I'll take a look on this. On the y-axis there, I'm going to key in a 40, a negative 40, a negative 40, but this time it, will, it won't be negative 40. It will be uh, 40 without any prefix or negative sign right there. So I'm going to click move. So if I click move, it will be taken back to that position. Then right click and redraw that. So you can see we have this in place. So once I've done so, or when we do the bolting, it will be the thread will be attached to this part that is that will be welded uh, firmly on the main uh, column. So in, in our case, the uh, our main column will be circular hollow section uh, with some good thickness, so that uh, when we weld this, there will be no there will be no worries that uh, the welding might uh, not be f uh, strong enough. To, to hold the thread in position, though the uh, the weight will be distributed to the other side of the string that will be created on the other side. The string will also be a, a spiral. So the next thing I'm going to create, I'm going to create a midpoint between these two plates. So I'll come to edit right there and come to points and pick on online and pick any edge as long as we get the midpoint between the two. So a reason why I'm picking the midpoint is because I, I would want to take this, transfer this to, to the column. So fortunately, we have created a column here. So our column is this. So this is very easy to do because you just come to to uh, steal and just pick a column and just place it somewhere there. So once you place it somewhere, somewhere there, you can uh, just go further and double click on it. So once you double click on it, you can always change the profile after clicking on that button there that will take you to a profile the catalog that will be able to, in, inside there you'll be able to pick on the appropriate uh, profile that suits uh, your structure so in this particular case let me just uh, minimize that because uh, it's kind of straightforward or self-explanatory if you've been watching this channel for some time for, for some time now so let me just uh, delete that so the, cent, uh, the the diameter or the diameter of this uh, column is 270 273 so it is centered here so i want to i want to create a point right on the on the edge so since this is 273 uh, half of it is uh, basically on 36.5 so what i'm going to do i'm going to select select this and uh, you, you, by default you can note the center and I'm going to come to edit and come to uh, points. And then I'm going to just snap on that spot. So once I've snapped on that spot, you can see we have a point right there. I'm going to right click once again and come to spatial copy and pick on linear. So I want to copy it in that direction of y axis. So on the direction of y axis, I'm, I'm just, I'll just key in 136.5 right there and click OK. So you can see we have a point right there that will, will help us in placement of, of this thread. So I'm going to select everything here. I'm going to select everything. Right click and come to spatial copy, and I'll come. I'll just pick move. Let me just pick move, not move spatial. I'll pick it from that point and move out and target this point on the edge of of our circular hollow section column. So I'll come to view, navigate, rotate with mouse, and I'll pick my rotation point. And you can see we have our trade in place. So we have the trade in place right there. And I can go further and maybe redraw, right? just right click and come to redraw and uh, everything that tend to uh, make our model look busy, I'll go turn away with. So so you, you've noted the purpose of these two plates that we are creating. These two plates will be 
welded. This will be welded here together with this member. So the tray will just come and be bolted on this section here that will be part of our, of our column. This and this, the, the, the three plates will be part of the column. So what I'm going to do next is to populate this thread to the full height of our column. So the number one thing you need to do before uh, you or you copy array this using array tool available in Tecla structure first of all everything has to be exploded so prior to that it will be a little bit tricky to populate that in that in that direction so if I select this you can still see uh, there's some grouping of some components so I'm going to just come here and click explode and if I come to that section also you can see the sum grouped uh, components I'm going to explode like that. So if I mouse over that there, mouse over here, you can see there's there's nothing as that is grouped. So this is everything has been exploded. So uh, once that has been done, I'm going I'm going once again and redraw that. So when that has been has been withdrawn or has been uh, redrawn, uh, we need some points that will help us in placement. In creating or in creating or populating this this thread all the way to the full height of our column. Remember, our the full height of our column is is should be nine meters. So let me just double click on it. So uh, from here, I'll be able just to add nine. Let's make it nine instead of seven. So let me just uh, drag something here. You're trying to block me, and that is not right. This is my recording tool. So let me just place it somewhere there. Let me just place it somewhere here so that I'll be able to access the, the modify tool. So once everything has been exploded, I, uh, I had created the points in place, but as, as we speak, I cannot see them. They're not visible. So I'll double click on the screen. Once I've double clicked on the screen, I'll come to a display. Don't worry about the, the pace you're going about. We, we, are going, we, are, we are moving. The key point is, is, is you get the concept of how to create a spiral staircase. It's not how fast we can create it, but you get the details of the step by step details on how you can create it. By the way, it's, it is, if, if I'm to, to, to do it without teaching, I can just do it in, in five minutes and I'm done. And because the purpose of this video is just to educate you to all to make you know uh, how to create this simple thing that's why i'm taking some time to make you understand of what i'm trying to do so i've double clicked on empty screen so that i can be able to see this so the reason why i'm double, I've double clicked i want to see the points that i had created previously so i'm going to check the, the point tool there and uh, let me just drag this to that side and i'll click modify and leave give it an okay and click okay right there so i have my points in place so the reason why I need the points in place is because I want to use a tool uh, that will help me use populate this thread to the full height of our column. So why don't we pick or uh, do that on the next presentation uh, of part three of our full presentation. So let's meet then and I hope you've gotten some concept on how you can handle your thread, your uh, uh, your spiral uh, staircase thread and let's meet then by your eye.